Are you thinking about transitioning your Boston Terrier to a brand new diet? In this video, I'm gonna share with you a four-step process on how to safely and successfully transition them to a new diet. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com, and there is Bella, my Boston, in her normal spot, her nice little sunspot, Bella Boo. And today what I wanna to talk to you about is how to transition your Boston Terrier from one food to the next. There are really four common reasons as to why you would transition your Boston Terrier to a new diet. The number one reason, your Boston doesn't like the food you're currently feeding them. The second reason could be you're transitioning them from a puppy food to an adult dog food. The third reason is you're transitioning them from a, an adult dog food to a senior dog food. And the fourth reason you could be transitioning them to a food is because your vet has prescribed some new type of dog food to give to them. Now, the reason you wanna follow this four step like gradual approach is because whenever you're transitioning your dog from one food to the next, you know, they've been eating this months, sometimes even years. So their body's gotten used to this. So transitioning them to a new dog food, you know, just cold turkey right away, could cause things like vomiting and diarrhea. Now, before you transition your dog to any type of new diet, you always wanna consult with your veterinarian just to get the best guidance for your individual Boston Terrier. But hopefully this video will shed some light on the process you're gonna to have to follow. Now, this is an article on the bostonterrierersociety.com website. You can check it out in the show notes below. And Dr. Addie Reinhardt, a veterinarian on the website, had put this article together, and I just wanted to share it in a short video clip for you guys. Now know that most transitions are gonna be about a week to two weeks in process. The four-step process that I'm showing you today is a week-long process. If for some reason your dog does start vomiting or having some sort of diarrhea, once again, call your vet, and you might need to elongate this over two weeks. So just do each step in the process a couple days longer. So step number one is actually integrate some of the new food, only 25% of the new food into your dog's old food. So you wanna make sure you have some of that old food left over because you're gonna be mixing it together. So that means if you fed your Boston Terrier a cup of kibble, where you're gonna take a quarter cup away, you know, just scoop that away and then put in a quarter cup of the new food. And you're gonna be doing this day one and day two. Doing it this way is gonna help with any type of stomach upset. Now step two consists of days three and four, and this is whenever you mix 50% old food and new food. So once again, get out the old fashioned measuring cup, measure it out however much you give and cut it in half and fill the rest with the new food. Now I do have in the show notes below, you know, if you're feeding them some kind of weird amount and the math is too complicated, where you can do a conversion calculator to help you guys out. It's in the show notes below. Now step number three, this is day five and six. This is where you're gonna have 75% of the new food and only 25% of the old food. Once again, you'll wanna measure this out. Now step number four, this is day seven and you guessed it, you're giving your Boston Terrier 100% of the new food. This is a pretty simple process. It gets your dog used to, well, first gradually introducing that brand new food to them so they're not having that vomiting or upset stomach. If you are seeing any of those signs and symptoms, you definitely wanna to talk to your veterinarian to see what they have to say. Now, some of you might not have a veterinarian or you don't have access to a 24 hour hotline. I do also have in the show notes below where you can contact a vet 24 seven for a small subscription fee, but at least you guys have peace of mind knowing you can talk to a vet 24 seven. So that'll be in the show notes below as well. And you just wanna make sure that you're monitoring your Boston's poops and basically check to see if they're vomiting anytime you take them out, because this might mean you need to either, number one, make this process a little bit longer, or it could mean they're not particularly liking that food. Not to say there might be an allergy issue, but you just wanna make sure that they're not having some type of adverse effect to the new food. And this is why talking to a veterinarian is so important. Come on, Bella. Come on, Bella. Come on, Bella. Up, up, up. Come on, Bella. Okay, she's not wanting to come up. She just wants to play. Oh, I'm gonna get you, Bella. You're feeling hefty, my friend. All right, question of the day. What is the reason you're changing your Boston Terrier's diet? Put it in the comments below, just because if somebody else might have that same reason, maybe you can connect in the comments below and share some tips with one another. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel just so you can get the latest from Boston Terrier Society. And if you still need help picking the right food for your Boston Terrier, you definitely wanna check out this video that I did with veterinarian Dr. Addie Reinhardt, where she walks you through the process on trying to find the best food for your Boston Terrier. You can check that video out here or one of my latest videos here. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston. Right, Bella?